everyone, welcome to another video. And today I just wanted to quickly talk about something that was sent to me in the mail. Um, this is Christmas Nights Into Dreams. Uh, this is the case and manual custom made by David Lee. Uh, so what happened was I actually was in a, in a group and someone had posted this and um, I didn't think it was real at first. And all of a sudden, like I, I started, somebody had, had it made and they were showing it off. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. So I asked David, if he can make another one, and he actually did. He made, he made one and sent it to me, so very happy about that. He does a podcast called Sega Saturn Shiro, which is really good. They talk about a lot of Saturn stuff on there. I'll leave a link in the description uh, below. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, what this look what this looked like and all the hard work he put into it. This thing is amazing. Um, very happy to have something like this. Uh, Night Christmas Nights Into Dreams was always a game that I wanted to have like a full case for. The game was actually released as a demo uh, through Blockbuster ad. I remember back when I was in high school and it came with this little sleeve, but it never got an original case. So this is like really cool. And he did he did an all out job on this thing. This thing is amazing. And there are people making um, reproductions of what he did out there on eBay, but I wouldn't try to get those. Uh, those are, I haven't seen them, but I mean, I have seen them, but they're not, they're not on par, but uh Anyways, this is on par, and I want to show you guys what it looked like. I'm very happy with this. Um, I always play this game every uh, around Christmas every year. Uh, always fun to play. And uh, I guess I'll just close out with the rest of the video. Is that I'll just show, I'll just talk about the game and show you a little review on it. So uh, I will see you guys later. He is covered with Christmas decorations. And people are looking for presents for their loved ones. Among them are Elliot and Clarice. They all look rushed. That gentleman, that lady, that old man. Why do they have to walk that fast? In the crowd, they feel something important is missing. The streets look so beautiful. This is the most cheerful time of the year. But it seems like nobody is paying any attention to something important. Walking down the street, they find themselves in the middle of Twin Seed City facing the mammoth Twin Seeds Tower. It is decorated beautifully, and the tower appears as one huge Christmas tree. However, they realize what is missing from the Christmas spirit. The one thing nobody seems to notice. There is no shiny star atop the gigantic Christmas tree. Without it, the tree is incomplete. And now we have Christmas nights in the dreams. Uh, What's cool about this game is that this is the first game I remember that was based on Christmas and I fell in love immediately. I mean, golly, I mean, I just, I just, I just, I was in like in an amazement when I first found out about this game, you know, with the whole trick with the timer, how you could change the timer on the Saturn and this game would play like certain different versions of it. Like if you played on April Fools, it would play this other mini game that was weird called Relia Nights, I remember. He's like the enemy of Nights. And if you played on Halloween, uh, it was snow candy and it had like Halloween pumpkins in the background if I remember correctly but anyways uh, basically in Christmas Nights it was semi sequel to Nights in the Dreams you're trying to get back a star save a star and you just go through the levels and uh, there's two levels and uh, and you need to beat the same boss over again but you just need to do it with both characters before you, you get the ending uh, what I always liked about this game is that if you have a if you get a higher a high grade you could open Christmas presents, and that would consist of like uh, art, um, music, certain movies. You could even unlock Sonic the Hedgehog in a Saturn version of this game. 
And that was kind of like a precursor to the Sonic Extreme, but even though that was never released. But overall, you can actually see that, you know, this game is like fully based on Christmas and it's definitely one of those games you'll be like, you'll wow yourself, especially during the holidays. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, part of the video. I got my star. Give a star of happiness to the heart of these brave children. Give a star of happiness to the heart of everyone. Merry Christmas!